Working for West Virginia, the area's most watched news. 12 News Today starts now. Good morning, I'm Gina Cadigan in for Justin. Welcome to 12 News Today. It's Tuesday, March 22nd, 6 a.m. right now. Thanks so much for joining us. Let's start with a look at our first forecast. Meteorologist Khalil is standing by in the Storm Tracker 12 Weather Lab with more. Khalil. Good morning, Gina, and good morning to everyone here in North Central West Virginia. We're at temperatures right now currently on either side of 40 degrees, and we just climbed to 40, as you can see, saw right there in Clarksburg. 40 right there on um, here in Clarksburg, 39, and it'll be a little bit colder at the freezing mark in Davis and Tucker County, anywhere from 10 to 15 degrees warmer than we were yesterday um, compared to where we were this time, as you can see right there. But looking across the bigger picture, we see this warm front draped over the Great Lakes. That's going to be responsible for these uh, warmer temperatures temperatures that we're going to be seeing today and we're going to be seeing some rain showers not today but tomorrow afternoon and evening looking at around the region looking at mainly clear road conditions for I-79-219 in Tucker County and if part of severe weather awareness week we do have a tornado drill at 11 a.m. another good time to um, practice what you would do in a situation like that and always be prepared back to you Gina. Jury selection in the trial of a woman charged with the death of a young child was held on Monday in a Harrison County court. 31-year-old Chastity Wazinski is the last of three people to go on trial for the death of five-year-old Keaton Boggs. Boggs died in March of 2020 due to injuries suffered from abuse. Wazinski's now ex-husband, Peter Wazinski, as well as Keaton Boggs' grandmother, Michelle Boggs, were both convicted by a jury of death of a child by a parent, guardian, custodian, or other person by child abuse. They were both sentenced to serve 15 years to life in prison. A domestic dispute over the weekend in Taylor County led to two people from Grafton being charged with child neglect. The Grafton Police Department says on Saturday, 25-year-old Andrew Andres and 29-year-old Sh Shanawa Campbell were arguing inside an apartment on Lucas Dairy Road in Grafton. Court documents say the argument eventually turned violent with Andres and Campbell fighting near where a 11-month-old child was sleeping. Officers also say they found marijuana inside the apartment. Andres and Campbell are being held in Tiger Valley Regional Jail. Upshur County deputies have arrested a Buchanan man that they say tried to have sex with an underage girl. According to court documents, deputies learned that 26-year-old Robert Radcliffe was talking to who he thought was a 15-year-old girl. During their conversations, deputies say Radcliffe asked the girl for sexually explicit photos, sent her inappropriate photos of himself, and also asked for sex. Radcliffe eventually agreed to meet with the girl on Saturday at Cleveland Park in Buchanan, where he was arrested. He faces numerous charges, including soliciting a minor via computer. Upshur County deputies have arrested a man they say threatened to kill a teenage girl. The Upshur County Sheriff's Department says beginning last Wednesday, 28-year-old Dusty Tenney of French Creek began talking to a 14-year-old girl online. According to documents, Tenney asked the girl to hang out and then sent her sexually explicit photos of himself. Tenney later messaged the girl saying he would kill her if she, quote, set him up. Deputies eventually found Tenney at a bowling alley in Upshur County and arrested him, finding nearly a gram and a half of meth inside his vehicle. Tenney has been charged with soliciting a minor via computer and possession with the intent to deliver a controlled substance. A Beverly man is in jail after police say he stabbed a woman. State police responded to a home on Butcher Lane in Beverly for a domestic disturbance. According to troopers, 25-year-old Dale Pitzer stabbed a woman with a knife and chased after her, after her through a neighborhood, eventually trying to break into a home where the woman went inside for help. When authorities arrested Pitzer, they say there was a shotgun inside his house lying next to a baby. Pitzer has been arrested and charged with malicious assault. Now to the latest on COVID-19 as active cases in West Virginia continue to drop. According to the DHHR, there are currently 623 active cases of COVID-19 in the state. That's a 172 drop in active cases since last Friday. Two counties are now reporting zero active cases. Those counties are Wirt and Hardy counties. 
Meanwhile, five more West Virginians have died from the coronavirus, putting the state's death toll at 6,651. Another COVID-19 variant is making its way across the U.S. It's called the BA2 variant, and it's caused COVID cases to jump in China and parts of Europe. The CDC, the CDC says it now accounts for about 25 to 30 percent, percent of new cases in the U.S., but it could become the most dominant variant. Health leaders say there's no evidence that it causes more severe illness or risk of hospitalization or that current COVID vaccines are less effective against it. And in the United States over the last three weeks, we have seen the BA.2 variant double every week. And this last week, it was responsible for about 25% of the cases. Here in West Virginia, we have many, many fewer cases. WVU is making it easier for people to stay up to date on their COVID-19 vaccinations. The university has developed a vaccination due date calculator to help determine when people should get their next shot. The university says all of the information put into the tool will be anonymous. Head to WBOY.com for the link to the vaccination due date calendar. Monday was the beginning of Judge Katanti Brown Jackson's Supreme Court confirmation hearing as lawmakers laid out what they're looking for. Basil John reports on day one of the hearing. It's the start of a long week for the Senate Judiciary Committee and Judge Katanji Brown Jackson as she vies for the open Supreme Court seat. Welcome, Judge Jackson. I am humbled and honored to be here. During day one of Judge Kentonji Brown Jackson's confirmation hearing, Democrats like Vermont Senator Patrick Leahy and Minnesota Senator Amy Klobuchar highlighted the significance of her nomination. With your presence here today, you are writing a new page in the history of America. You, Judge, are opening a door that's long been shut to so many. Connecticut Senator Richard Blumenthal said welcoming an African-American woman on the court is long overdue. This day is a giant leap into the present for our country and for the court. Republicans like Iowa Senator Chuck Grassley outlined what he wants out of the Supreme Court nominee. The most important thing that I look for is the nominee's view of the law, judicial philosophy, and view on the role of a judge in our constitutional system. Despite Judge Jackson's education and experience, Texas Republican Senator Ted Cruz said that is no longer enough. It is no longer the case that Supreme Court confirmation hearings are merely about qualifications. South Carolina Republican Senator Lindsey Graham promises he and his colleagues will not attack Judge Jackson's character. None of us are going to do that to you. And if any of us does that to you, all hell will break out. Republicans touched on their initial thoughts of Judge Jackson, saying she is soft on crime and want to hear her response in the coming days. Reporting in Washington, I'm Basil John. Pain at the gas pump is easing somewhat, at least for the time being. According to AAA, average gas prices have dropped, with the average at $4.25 a gallon for regular unleaded. That's down seven cents from last week's average. In West Virginia, the average is $4.09 a gallon. AAA says falling pump prices are also due to a drop in gas demand. Coming up after the break, a student and a school president switch places for a day to walk in each other's shoes. That's next on 12 News Today. The time now is 6.09. We'll be right back. And it's going to be mild and cloudy today, but we're monitoring some potential storms tomorrow. The details coming up right after the break. Follow Snowbird and WBOY Storm Tracker 12 throughout the weather season. Brought to you by Grog's Heating and Cooling. We trust doctors and medical professionals with our health, our welfare, and our lives. When a doctor violates that trust by acting negligently, you have every right to seek justice. Each year, more than 250,000 people die from medical mistakes. Shouldn't doctors and hospitals be held accountable? If you've suffered due to medical negligence, call Mansion Injury Law for a free consultation. Mansion Injury Law, when you need justice. If your home or business has a serious foundation problem, would you even know it? 
Do you have doors or windows that are hard to open and close? Are there cracks in your walls? Have you noticed that one of your walls is bowing? Or do you have sagging floors? If you said yes to any of these questions, you may have a foundation problem. Save your foundation before it's too late. Call Basement Systems of West Virginia today for a free, no obligation inspection. Basement Systems of West Virginia. All things basement -y. It's time to check out a true power player during Ram Truck Month at Country Club Chrysler. Ram 1500 makes easy work of your towing, hauling, and performance needs. Hi, I'm Eli Game with Brothers of the Woods Outdoors. When we went hunting for a new truck, it was a straight shot at the Country Club Chrysler. You can explore all the Ram options and custom order a new truck just the way you want it. Country Club Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Our temporary location is routes 19 and 98 south of Clarksburg. Why would you want to go anywhere else? What makes best reviews the best reviews? Ooh, pretty colors. They have an unbiased team that researches products in real world situations. Oh no, Count Bristol. We settle this dispute through dance. To give honest, reliable recommendations on just about any product you can imagine. So you can be confident that whatever you're buying is right for you. Faster, Count Bristol, faster! Whatever you're into. For the best reviews, go to bestreviews.com. Seriously, before you buy anything, ever. Follow Snowbird through all weather on WBOY. Brought to you by the Miley Legal Group. Now, the area's most accurate forecast Storm Tracker 12 weather. Powered by Panhandle Cleaning and Restoration, the official cleaning and restoration company of the West Virginia Mountaineers. Good morning, North Central West Virginia. It's Tuesday at 6 12. And this morning, currently temperatures on either side of 40 degrees right here and across most of the area. 40 degrees in Clarksburg, 38 in Philippi, looking at 33 in Elkins and out towards Middleburn, 44 degrees this morning. Good looking at temperature difference in the past 24 hours. We are warmer than we were. That certainly is helped out by the cloud cover. You can see right there anywhere from 10 to almost 15 degrees warmer. And as we look at the bigger picture, we have this um, warm warm front basically draped over the Great Lakes and into our area as those well clouds moving into it. We we'll have some rain out towards the west you can see right here, but we're not really expected to see many raindrops today. But tomorrow and into Thursday, that'll be a bit of a different story. So let's continue on with our road. It's looking just fine. I-79-219 as well by the Coliseum looking fine for your commute this morning. And as we look at our weather headlines, we'll be seeing uh, mostly cloudy skies today, but then an active midweek and some possibly strong storms Wednesday. Looking at where right now we're at a marginal risk for an isolated severe thunderstorm, looking at possibility of um, 40 to 60 mile an hour wind gusts. And as we look towards today, 68 degrees, mostly cloudy and mild winds of the northeast at around six miles miles per hour, then we're going to be dropping down to 51 degrees and probably by this time tomorrow, maybe some rain showers and then by the end of the day, probably some strong thunderstorms and a high of around 73 degrees. And as we head towards the rest of our seven day forecast, we're going to be going down in terms of the temperatures down to the 50s for Friday, maybe some snow showers for Saturday, then we're back up to the 40 upper 40s by Monday and mostly sunny skies. Back to you, Gina. Yesterday, Davis and Elkins College held a president switch day. The president switch day is where the college president becomes a student for a day and the student becomes the school president. The day helps both the president and student get a better understanding of what each goes through on a daily basis. Saying today, uh, he gets a chance to understand what it is to be a leader of a, a, a complex organization. I think it's a wonderful educational opportunity for him. And quite frankly, it's an opportunity that uh, very few would get at a, a very large university. But at a small school like Davis and Elkins, uh, we, we really pride ourselves on providing opportunities for our students. After graduation, Hussein plans to live the American dream and be the real president of Davis and Elkins College. Coming up after the break, a celebration is held for the most unlikely Sweet 16 participant in this year's tournament. That's next on 12 News Today. The time now is 614. We'll be right back. Remembering loved ones.
for more information on the celebration of life, fourlocalobits.com. Forged with a sweet, sweet heat, Wendy's new hot honey chicken biscuit and sandwich. A marvel so marvelous, it can only be forged at a Wendy's. Willie? Oh, yeah, right. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's new hot honey chicken sandwich or biscuit at breakfast. What sets our firm apart from all others is clearly the aggressive nature in which we handle our clients' cases. If you want a firm that takes the nice guy approach, that wants to be friends with the insurance company or the insurance adjuster, we're not the firm for you. But if you want a firm that fights hard on every issue that's important to your case and that protects your rights and your interests, call the Tiger. <laughs> No matter where you call home, everyone deserves reliable coverage. At T-Mobile, we've invested billions to light up our 5G network across America. And to celebrate, we've got an exclusive offer for your town, T-Mobile's hometown discount. Right now, switch to T-Mobile at your local store and get 25% off for life. That's right, 25% off unlimited talk, text, and data for the life of your plan. Get coverage and value with T-Mobile's hometown discount today. North Central West Virginia's most up-and-coming community welcomes you to Shinston. Conveniently located between Bridgeport and Fairmont, Shinston has all the qualities of the perfect community to raise your family. Hi, it's my pleasure as Shinston City Manager to welcome you to our growing community. We have all the luxuries to ensure you and your family feel right at home. We take pride in our community and we can't wait to welcome you. Visit us today and experience everything Shinston has to offer. We can't wait to have you. If you've got this and these, you probably need one more thing. The Golden Blue Nation podcast presented by West Virginia's lawyers, Pritt and Spano. Scan the QR code to listen on your favorite device. Join us for Inside West Virginia Politics. An in-depth look at the issues and newsmakers in the Mountain State. Sunday mornings at 8.30 on WBOI. And now it's time for the 12 Sports Zone, brought to you by Toyota. Good morning, everybody. The annual Frank Loria Awards were presented last night. Here's a recap of the special night for Harrison County football players. The 39th annual Frank Loria Awards banquet was held in person at the Bridgeport Conference Center for the first time in two years. The Loria Awards celebrate the athletic and academic career of Harrison County native Frank Loria and to honor the current football players of the five high schools in the county, Robert C. Byrd, Bridgeport, Liberty, Lincoln, and South Harrison. The four awards given out tonight include the Coach of the Year, the Loria Lineman Award, the Academic Achievement Award, and the Most Outstanding Football Player of the Year. Robert C. Byrd's Jeremiah King is named the Most Outstanding Player of the Year as he earns the Loria Award. King wins the award for the second straight year. He ends his high school career with 6,779 total rushing yards. 1,965 of those came this past fall with 22 touchdowns. You know, it's really good. Uh, we had a bunch of players in here that also deserved the award. There's about a few of them I thought that should have got out also. And to be picked over them, you know, it's just a blessing. And, you know, I give most, uh, all my uh, ups to my uh, linemen and my teammates for pushing me 110 percent every day and they got me to where I needed to be and got me this award also. Robert C. Bird's Wyatt Minor earns the Loria Lineman Award. Minor standing at 6'6", 300 pounds was a force on Bird's line this past fall helping the Flying Eagles to a postseason run. Well, it meant everything. I've always worked hard for this. Um, I've always tried to be the best I can be. Um, I can only I only thank my teammates, my coach, Coach Grail, especially Coach Tig Wagner. Um, they've helped me all, all this year, trying to be the best I can be and get to where I want to be. On the academic side, Bridgeport's Tate Jordan is given the Frank Loria Academic Achievement Award. Jordan thanks his coaches for pushing him to be the athlete he is on the field and student he is off the field. That's everyone's responsibility to do as good as they can in school because at the end of the day, sports are all that nice, but not everyone goes to the NFL and gets paid for it. And uh, I want to thank someone special, actually, Coach uh, Tom Hilton from Bridgeport. He's the only reason I started playing football, and uh, I hope he hears this. Hope he knows I said thank you. And Bridgeport's Tyler Ferris is named Coach of the Year. Ferris, in his first season at the helm, led the Indians to an undefeated regular season and run in the postseason. Ferris credits his players for all of the success. Uh, it just means our kids had a successful season. You know, we don't do anything without them. And, uh, 
it was great to see them have the success they did throughout the year. And, you know, obviously I got rewarded for their hard work today. What an awesome night and more local sports coming up tonight. Have a great morning. It's a true Cinderella story. The St. Peter's University is headed to the Sweet 16. The men's basketball team from Jersey City is the first New Jersey team to reach the NCAA Sweet 16 in more than 20 years. The St. Peter's Peacocks beat Murray State on Saturday 70 to 60 and on Sunday they received a hero's welcome home. St. Peter's will face Purdue Friday night in Philadelphia. St. Peter's is the third 15 seed ever to reach the Sweet 16. A win Friday night would make it the would make them the first 15 seed to reach the Elite Eight. Now the area's most accurate forecast: Storm Tracker 12 weather, powered by Panhandle Cleaning and Restoration, the official cleaning and restoration company of the West Virginia Mountaineers. Good morning, North Central West Virginia. We're looking out over Clarksburg. We're off to a bit of, of cloudy and cool start. Compare that to yesterday. We were right around the freezing mark, but once more, we'll be seeing some nice temperatures by the end of the day. Let's look at temperatures across most of the region on either side of 40 degrees right here. 40 degrees in Clarksburg, 39 in Weston, out towards Davis and Tucker County, 32 degrees and out towards Elkins. You're at 33 degrees this morning at 621 in the, in the morning. Currently, winds are mainly out of the south to southeast at around five to miles per per hour upwards around eight miles per hour up there in Grafton. Looking at the temperature, looking at the bigger picture in the radar, we have this warm front basically draped over the Great Lakes, have some um, precipitation and rain as well as some thunderstorms moving up in towards the um, Louisville as well as Indiana, but we won't be seeing any rain today, but more, more so tomorrow. Looking at road conditions right now, all dry in I-79, 219 as well as in Tucker County. As we look at our weather headlines, more clouds today. Looking at some active weather tomorrow, so potentially some thunderstorms thunderstorms and rain looking at potentially some snow as we head towards the weekend and tomorrow maybe a marginal risk of a thunderstorm possibly 40 to 60 mile per hour wind gusts and power outages with those in heavy rain getting up to temperatures in the upper 60s as you can see here with our dog walking forecast and getting um, seeing temperatures around 51 degrees and probably some showers by this time tomorrow night and then tomorrow high of around 73 degrees and probably some strong storms by the afternoon and as we head towards the rest of the week dropping the temperatures down towards the 50s and 40s towards the weekend, maybe some snow showers. Then we're back to some sunshine for Monday and high 48 degrees. Back to you, Gina. After the break, experts are offering their advice on keeping kids safe during Poison Prevention Week. That's next on 12 News Today. Ask the Experts is brought to you by Seaman Law Offices every Wednesday on 12 News at 12. It's never too early to start planning. With cold weather here, there's never been a better time to jump in. At Leisure World, we carry a full line of Viking spas with new units arriving daily. Free delivery and setup with your purchase. So what are you waiting for? Let Leisure World of Weston make your dream of owning a hot tub a reality. Are you looking to sell your home, farm, or estate? We have qualified buyers looking to buy now. Not every property is right for an auction, and not every property is right for a listing. That is why at Kaufman Realty and Auctions, we offer both. No one else offers this in our market. We want to make sure our seller gets the best results possible. Waiting for the right time to sell? Now is the time. Call us today for a free evaluation. Kaufman Realty and Auctions is West Virginia's online auction leader. If you get in a wreck with a big truck, call 911 then call us. We'll come right away to document the scene and get the truck's recording device so it doesn't disappear. And this black box can be important evidence to prove you were right and they were wrong. With this, our skill and experience, time and time again, we make the trucking companies pay. We focus on truck wrecks. Call Farmer Klein and Campbell because we put you first. Farmer Klein and Campbell is the way to go. Call 225 home Of course, there aren't any spots. A few minutes won't hurt anybody. Whatever the reason, excuses don't excuse. Join PVA and be part of the solution. Honor the spot. Tired of casino sites that offer you bonuses you can never cash out? Then say hello to FanDuel Casino. We make it easy to turn your bonus credit into real money. Unlike other online casinos, once you play through your bonus, it's yours to keep. It's that easy. Plus, get paid your way, quickly and securely. Download FanDuel Casino today and play your first 24 hours risk-free. 
That means at the end of your first day of play, if you're down, you'll get it back up to $1,000. Welcome back. This week is Severe Weather Awareness Week in West Virginia, and officials are reminding everyone to be prepared. The Mountain State is no stranger to severe weather, including floods and tornadoes. Today, there will be a statewide tornado drill at 11 a.m. Officials say one of the easiest ways to be prepared is to have a disaster go kit ready at all times. Keeping things in it like radios, batteries, non-perishable food items, and important documents. It's National Poison Prevention Week, and experts with the West Virginia Poison Center are sharing tips on how to keep your kids safe. Several common poisons can be found in your average household. That includes things like over-the-counter prescriptions and medicines, as well as brightly colored cleaners in your cabinets. Experts recommend keeping them behind locked doors or in places where kids can't reach them. Another um, common myth is that people should induce vomiting if, if a child or an adult gets into something toxic. And that is something that we do not recommend here at the Poison Center. Sometimes um, causing vomiting can cause more harm than good. If an accident does happen, you can call the West Virginia Poison Center. That number is on your screen now. Coming up after the break, the investigation into a plane crash on Monday in China is still in its early phases. Plus, a procession is held for two Pennsylvania troopers killed in the line of duty. That's next on 12 News Today. The time now is 627. We'll be right back. Follow Snowbird through all weather on WBOI. Brought to you by Bridgeport Physical Therapy. If I was to sum up what it's like to work at United Security Agency in one word, it'd be rewarding. Probably be fabulous. I'd say respectful. It would have to be family. You've been in an accident. Call Mansion Injury Law. No fees until we win your case. Mansion Injury Law, when you need justice. Think premium can't be capable? Think again. The GMC Sierra AT4. Premium and capable. That's professional grade from GMC. Get 0% financing on GMC Sierra Limited crew cab models. Plus, current eligible GMC owners get an additional $750 purchase allowance. Biden border crisis, fentanyl from China flowing through our southern border. What have Alex Mooney and Biden done? Mooney opposed Trump's plan to stop Chinese fentanyl poisoning our communities. Worse, Mooney joined Biden and voted against Trump's wall four times. Against Trump's wall and against stopping fentanyl from China. Marilyn Mooney, good for China, bad for Trump, even worse for West Virginia. I'm David McKinley, and I approve this message. If alcohol builds a wall around you, know this, we are here to help if you want us to. It's never too early or too late to ask for help with a drinking problem. Alcoholics Anonymous, there is a way out. If I was to sum up what it's like to work at United Security Agency in one word, it'd be rewarding. Probably be fabulous. I'd say respectful. It would have to be family. The Golden Blue Nation app. Download it today. You're watching 12 News Today with Justin McLennan and Storm Tracker 12 meteorologist Khalil MacGyver. Good morning. I'm Gina Cadigan in for Justin. Welcome to 12 News Today. It's Tuesday, March 22nd. The time now is 6.30. Thanks for joining us. 
Now let's have a look at our forecast. Meteorologist Khalil is standing by in the Storm Tracker 12 Weather Lab with more. Khalil. And once more, good morning. We're off to a bit of a cool start this morning when we're looking out of our uh, in and out tire over Clarksburg. Currently, we have a temperature right around 40 degrees. As you can see right there, we'll have, we have 40 degrees right here in Clarksburg, 40 in Fairmont, 41 in Morgantown, and 44 degrees out there in Kingwood. And you can see some cloud cover moving in, and that's certainly helping to keep the temperatures um, where they are right now, anywhere from 10 to 15 degrees warmer than we were in the past 24 hours. As we look at the roads uh, for your commute, looking just fine on I-79, 219, as up, well as up by the Coliseum, and just a as another note, it, today is day two of severe weather awareness day. Today is focused on tornado safety. We have a tornado drill for the statewide around 11 a.m. Good chance to practice what you would do in a situation and to keep weather aware. Full forecast coming up in just a few moments. Back to you, Gina. After more than three weeks of fighting, Russian forces have yet to take control of the capital or any major city in Ukraine. U.S. officials now saying troops on the ground have stalled as the attacks from the air become more frequent and deadly, adding to the pressure of those trying to escape. Jay Gray brings us the latest in Poland, just over the Ukrainian border. A 10-story shopping mall and several homes in the center of Kiev reduced to twisted metal and chunks of concrete. The mayor announcing a reinforced curfew through 7 tomorrow morning. In Kherson, hundreds of protesters running from gunfire and stun grenades after trying to block Russian military vehicles. The Kremlin's war plan continuing to take aim at civilian targets. With survivors rushing to get out. You stand here and see the, the sadness and of, of the people that are walking across, the little girls crying, the little boys crying, and then just holding their heads down. Scenes that play out over and over as John Zarlinski waits for relatives and friends along the Poland-Ukraine border. I'm trying to sponsor them to bring them on a, a visa back home and or waiting to see if the uh, government has some sort of uh, program for the refugees. No one was waiting at the border for this 15-year-old who escaped Kiev with a group of friends. Because uh, my dad is invalid and uh, they can't, can't uh, go to the Polish and other countries. Like so many who make the same journey, he can't help but think about those left behind. I don't worry about me, but something I worry about my family. And wonders when or if he'll see them again. Jay Gray, NBC News, along the Poland-Ukraine border. President Biden held a group call on Monday with several European leaders. The president spoke with leaders from France, Germany, Italy, and the United Kingdom. According to a White House press release, the group underscored its support for Ukraine, including providing security assistance to the Ukrainian people who are, quote, defending their country from Russian aggression. The leaders also agreed to help on the humanitarian front, providing assistance to Ukrainian refugees. The White House says Biden and the European leaders also reviewed diplomatic efforts supporting Ukraine's work towards ceasefire. Aviation experts say a jetliner that crashed Monday in the South China mountains was one of the safest in the world, which could raise questions about one of the industry's workhorses, the Boeing 737-800NG. China Eastern Airlines Flight 5735 crashed on the mountains of southern China, leaving the fate of its 132 passengers and crew members unknown. Investigators are likely to use flight recordings and the final minutes of air traffic control communication to determine what caused the crash. Two Pennsylvania state troopers were killed early Monday morning after being hit by a car. The troopers identified as Trooper Martin F. Mack and Trooper Brandon T. Siska were trying to get a man who was walking on Interstate 95 into their patrol car. All three were struck and killed. A procession of officers brought the bodies by the police headquarters in Philadelphia and to the medical examiner's office. Several officers could be seen comforting one another. The investigation into the fatal crash is still ongoing.
Clarksburg police have arrested a man from Detroit, Michigan, and a Clarksburg woman on drug charges following the search of a Harrison County home. Last Friday, officers served a search warrant at a house on Seeley Avenue at the home of 24-year-old Caitlin Riddle. When police entered the home, they say 29-year-old Jer Jeremaine Moore was flushing bags of fentanyl down the toilet. Moore and Riddle have both been charged with possession with intent to deliver a controlled substance. State police in Randolph County have arrested a man on drug charges. Troopers received a tip that a wanted person was staying at a home on Chestnut Ridge Road near Mill Creek. State police went to that home and after seeing a gun and drug items inside a vehicle in the driveway, spoke to a man inside, Travis Woods of Beverly. Court documents say troopers searched the vehicle, finding several bags of meth. Woods has been charged with possession with intent to deliver a controlled substance. Coming up on 12 News Today, students come together to celebrate their fellow classmates on World Down Syndrome Day. That's next when 12 News Today continues. The new Golden Blue Nation podcast, sponsored by West Virginia's lawyers, Pritt and Spano. Scan the QR code to listen to our latest episodes. This virus is testing all of us, and Bridgeport Express Care is proud to offer the 15-minute rapid COVID test by nasal swab seven days a week. No appointments necessary and results in just 15 minutes. Now at Bridgeport Express Care, Johnson Avenue in Bridgeport. A hallmark of behavioral health care in North Central West Virginia for over 50 years, Valley continues to provide quality mental health and substance abuse services. Neighbors helping neighbors, call us today. The truth is, after a truck crash, the odds are stacked against you, especially when you take on a large trucking company and their insurance companies. You only get one chance to do this right, and you have to make it count. Hire the team that knows what it takes to get the job done and done right. At Colombo Law, we are truck injury lawyers. It's what we do every day. When someone is hurt by a truck, Colombo Law is the law firm people call to get answers. Hurt by a truck? Call Colombo Law. Are you ready for some madness? Get to the March Clearance Event at Jack's Furniture Center. We have it all for immediate delivery. Living rooms, bedrooms, dining, sectionals, recliners, Amish dining rooms and bedrooms, mattresses, accessories, and more. Nothing is held back. Our showroom is stocked, and you can purchase right off the showroom floor. Take advantage of our cash discount or free financing up to four years. Don't miss the madness. In March, going on at Jack's Furniture Center, East Point, Clarksburg. I'm the big C. I'm here to tell you about skin cancer. Skin cancer is the cancer you can see. Is there a skin cancer on me right now? I'm not a dermatologist, but you know who is? Hey. Your dermatologist. <laughs> Everybody has to get checked. This virus is testing all of us, and Bridgeport Express Care is proud to offer the 15-minute rapid COVID test by nasal swab seven days a week. No appointments necessary and results in just 15 minutes. Now at Bridgeport Express Care, Johnson Avenue in Bridgeport. West Virginia is now paying out millions of dollars to get more nurses in the state. Last December, the governor's office launched the Nursing Workforce Expansion Program, setting aside $48 million to recruit and educate more nursing students. The initial grants are now being awarded, including the goal of attracting nurses and students from out of state. No question that we've got to, uh, we've got to be able to recruit and then we've got to retain, don't we? I mean, when it just boils right down to it. Nurses are definitely a critical need to the hospital. They're there 24 hours a day, um, and without them, the hospitals really couldn't run. So definitely investing in getting more nurses into West Virginia. So far, a total of 26 nursing programs in the state are scheduled to receive grants, including at the state's community and technical colleges. The stress of the pandemic could be causing more parents to seek mental health therapy for their children. That's according to a new poll from the University of Michigan. Experts say the pandemic caused significant stress and social disruptment for kids that likely exacerbated mental health disorders such as depression and anxiety. Most parents say they think they would be able to tell if their children are suffering from a mental health issue. However, only a quarter of them believe their children would talk to them about their mental health. 
And now, the area's most accurate forecast Storm Tracker 12 weather, powered by Panhandle Cleaning and Restoration, the official cleaning and restoration company of the West Virginia Mountaineers. Good morning, North Central West Virginia. We're beginning to see the signs of the sun beginning to rise, but we do have some cloud cover overhead as we look at our in and out tire eye over Clarksburg and currently have temperatures on either side of 40 degrees. We're at 40 right here in Clarksburg, 38 down there in Weston, 39 in West in Sutton, and we're at 43 degrees in Middleburn here on Tuesday morning. We're anywhere from 10 to almost 15 degrees warmer in the past 24 hours, as you can see right there. That's helped by this cloud cover as well as winds mainly out of the south this morning, uh, but as we look at the radar and satellite, we have this warm front that's going to be helping to elevate the temperatures across most of the area here, including here in, in, West Cent in North Central West Virginia. Some rain showers as well as storms towards the west that will be moving in here by tomorrow morning as well as by the afternoon. We could be expecting some strong thunderstorms. So here's your weather headlines. Mainly cloudy today, looking at some strong storms possible tomorrow on Wednesday, and then by the weekend, we're going to be cooling down with some chances of some snow showers. So look at that tomorrow's afternoon severe weather threat isolated severe storms are possible particularly towards the later afternoon and into the evening and as far as a uh Oh, severe weather threats. We're looking at mainly wind as well as heavy rain. Uh, very low chances for both hail as well as tornadoes, but we will always keep you updated here on our website as well as here on WBOY. As a look at our predictor here, mainly cloudy skies. As far as rain, maybe um, it's going to be mainly dry. The main rain threat will probably be tomorrow. By this time, tomorrow we'll be seeing some rain showers as well, and then by the afternoon, probably some th th thunderstorms as we head towards the evening. As you can see right there on your screen, possibility of us a line moving through towards overnight into Thursday, but then as we head towards the rest of Thursday, we're going to be clearing out with mostly sunny skies. So continuing on looking at continuing on looking at wind gusts, probably upwards around 30 to maybe 40 miles per hour as we had and as we look at rain showers, probably any more, probably around maybe a quarter of an inch or half an inch when everything is said and done when we look at some rain. But today, getting up to a high of 68 degrees with some mostly cloudy skies. Then we're going to be dropping down to 51 with some showers later on. Then tomorrow's going to be the um, looking at some rain showers and some strong storms by later on in the afternoon. High of 73 degrees. And as we go towards the rest of our seven-day forecast, we'll be dropping temperatures down by the end of the week. Maybe a few snow showers here and there. 43 degrees with some clearing skies for Sunday. Then on Monday, we're at back to the 48 degrees with mostly sunny skies. Guys, now here's your Mountaineer Minute. KK Deans, the WVU women's basketball team's leading scorer from this past season, has announced her decision to enter the transfer portal. Despite missing much of the second half of the year due to injury, Deans averaged a team best 14 and a half points per game. It was the second straight year that the junior guard averaged at least 13 points per contest as part of her social media post. Deans thanked Mountaineer Nation for their support during her time at WVU. But Deans is now the third key piece of this season's WV women's squad to exit the program. Deans joins forward Kari Nyblack as players who have entered the transfer portal in the offseason, and head coach Mike Carey announced his retirement last week. The Greenville, North Carolina native has up to two years of eligibility remaining, but will be recovering from her season-ending injury during the offseason. And while it may be the offseason, things are ramping up for the WVU football team. Spring practices begin on Tuesday, so make sure to stay with Golden Blue Nation for WVU football coverage all spring long. That's the latest. On the Mountaineers here in Morgantown, I'm Ryan Decker. Golden Blue Nation Mountaineer Minute is brought to you by Toyota. Imagine yourself in a new Toyota. Wow. Perfect. I think red is more me. Giddy up. See your dealer today to reserve your adventure ready RAV4 or spacious Highlander. Now with special 2.49% APR financing to qualified buyers for 60 months. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. At Erskine Seal Coat, they provide the area's best seal coating, paving, line striping, and crack repair services hands down. Don't settle for second-rate products. Erskine Seal Coat uses only the highest quality and longest-lasting products on the market. A full guarantee covers you for one year and a day, and payment plans are always available. Your satisfaction is 100% guaranteed. If you're not happy, they're never done. Don't wait. Schedule Erskine Seal Coat for your projects now. 
office building is over 130 years old. Both times we've remodeled, we did it with union workers. I even built my home with union workers. Why? Because at the Siegel Law Firm, we don't just claim to support union workers and their families. We actually hire them when we have the chance. Call the Siegel Law Firm if you've been injured on the job. This box has been a lifesaver for me. Let's talk taters. <laughs> Chef Ryan Scott's got boxed instant mash. I want people to cut into this like a lasagna. Crazy brilliant. And no peel ranch potatoes. Wow. Then let's <laughs> LOL with AFP's Alfonso Ribeiro. That's how it works. <laughs> Plus, stoop on this. Somewhere between a soup and a stew because it's so thick. Next, Rachel. Awarded the highest rating of five stars by Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, UHC. Monday was World Down Syndrome Day and students in one class are doing their part to make sure their classmates are included all year long. Corey Davis reports. There's room for everyone in this class. How do you say it in Spanish? Mm -hmm. Rectangulio. Different languages for those who speak and also for students who do not communicate with words. You get to help, right? Mm -hmm. Help. Help. Michelle Ryan teaches sign language to her students at Mother Teresa Regional Catholic School in King of Prussia. It's all for three-year-old Abby Sostek. Abby has Down syndrome and is nonverbal, but even at such a young age, her determination shines. I could tell you every one of my children in my class will say, that's my Abby. That's my Abby. They're all wearing crazy socks in support of World Down Syndrome Day. Even the youngest kids are learning about how some people like Abby have more chromosomes than everyone else. We have one that looks like a fruit snack, and Abby has some that looks like crazy socks. But does that make us different? Maybe on the inside, but on the outside? No. And check out my socks. Everyone here at Mother Teresa is on board. They are showing support, uh, promoting kindness and inclusion by wearing their most colorful and craziest socks today here at school. A lot has changed for Abby. She wasn't able to do much needed physical therapy last year during pandemic shutdowns, so her parents got creative, grabbed some duct tape, a couple of bar stools, and made a treadmill for her virtual sessions. Now that you know her education is, is in f full steam here at, at Mother Teresa. Abby and another student are the first with Down syndrome to attend Mother Teresa. We just love to see her here among her peers, and I think the takeaway about World Down Syndrome Day is to include everyone. But the kids really learn from each other and see and really grow to appreciate and, and love each other for all their differences. No matter what life throws at you, you just got to pull up your pants, put on your crazy socks whatever My and just go tackle it what a great story glad they're including abby thanks all right khalil is back with a look at our bus stop forecast khalil yeah, we're starting off a bit cool this morning, but we're going to see mainly cloudy skies. And by the end of the afternoon, we'll be seeing temperatures in the upper 60s. Another look at your forecast coming up right after the break. Hi, I'm Rachel, and this is Mac and my mom. Come and see us at Joe Romeo's I-79 Honda, where we make car buying fun. It's spring thaw sale time at Roy's RV Supercenter in Elkins. We have the largest new inventory of the year right now, along with a giant selection of pre-owned units, all at giant savings. Come see me, Big Roy, and all my friends here at Roy's RV Supercenter in Elkins. Why is Rhino David McKinley lying again? McKinley calls himself a Trump conservative, but he's weak on the border, backing amnesty for illegal immigrants. Don't be fooled. Alex Mooney's the only Trump-endorsed candidate in this race, and his mother, a Cuban refugee. His father, a veteran who battled communism. Mooney defends our values at any cost, so West Virginia can breathe free. Trump-endorsed conservative Alex Mooney for Congress. I'm Alex Mooney, and I approve this message. You've been in an accident. The choice of a lawyer may be the biggest decision you make for you 
and your family's future. At Mansion Injury Law, we offer a free consultation and no fees until we win your case. Call us today to protect your future. Mansion Injury Law, when you need justice. Visit WBOY.com for this week's Half Off Hump Day deal. Get $50 worth of gift cards for only $25. Yee, doggies! Head Hillbilly here. Hillbilly Hatchet. Come on down to Bridgeport and check some axes. We have electronic targets with four different games. It's fun for the whole family, ages 8 and up. And great for holiday and birthday parties, too. Go to WBOY.com every Wednesday at 7 a.m. for your new Half Off Hump Day deal. Huge savings are happening right now during the spring thaw sale at Roy's RV Supercenter in Elkins. You'll have to see it to believe the inventory on our giant lot here at Roy's. Come see me, Big Roy, and all my friends here at Roy's RV Supercenter in Elkins. Now, the area's most accurate forecast, Storm Tracker 12 weather, powered by Panhandle Cleaning and Restoration, the official cleaning and restoration company of the West Virginia Mountaineers. Good morning, North Central West Virginia. We're looking out towards the east where we do have some clouds, but we do see some signs of the sun rising or over Clarksburg. But as we head throughout the day, we're just going to be generally the same story today. But as we go tomorrow, we're looking at the potential for some active weather and some strong storms Wednesday. And by the end of the week, we're looking at so as well as look at some some snow. So today, so tomorrow, we're looking at a chance of some isolated severe weather, um, severe thunderstorms, maybe some 40 to 60 mile wind gusts in those storms and some rain and some large hail possible. But in the meantime, for today, we're just going to be getting up to a high of right around 68 degrees. You can see right there on your screen, mostly cloudy skies and mild. Then we're going to be dropping down to around 51 tonight with tonight with some showers later on towards the early morning hours, especially probably around today. Um, this time tomorrow, to, um, tomorrow, then tomorrow, 73 degrees showers and some strong storms late looking at well, warm temperatures. And as we head towards the rest of our seven day forecast, cooling down throughout the rest of the week. And then we're going to be seeing temperatures and mainly in the 40s and chance of snow. No, then we're back to sunny skies on Monday. Back to you, Gina. Coming up after the break, we'll check out some of our top stories this morning, including efforts to help people be better prepared during severe weather awareness week. That's next when 12 News Today returns. Stick with us. I'm Mark Curtis. And I'm Amanda Barron. Join us for Inside West Virginia Politics. An in-depth look at the issues and newsmakers in the Mountain State. Watch the award-winning Inside West Virginia Politics Sunday mornings at 8.30 on WBOI. Did you know that every 12 seconds someone is hurt in a car accident? If you are unfortunate enough to be one of those statistics, you'll realize in about 15 minutes that you're not in good hands and the insurance company is not on your side. Attorney Thomas E. McIntyre represents individuals in accidents and fights for the compensation they deserve. If you want personal service from beginning to end, call Thomas E. McIntyre. If you or a family member have been injured in an automobile accident, a motorcycle accident, or by one of these big trucks on the highway, give us a call. We can help. All the hits, all the spins, all the hot streaks, all on FanDuel Casino. All the on-field excitement fans love, now in an online casino. Start playing blackjack, roulette, and slots for real money today. Download and play your first 24 hours risk-free and get up to $1,000 back. No matter where you call home, everyone deserves reliable coverage. At T-Mobile, we've invested billions to light up our 5G network across America. And to celebrate, we've got an exclusive offer for your town, T-Mobile's hometown discount. Right now, switch to T-Mobile at your local store and get 25% off for life. That's right, 25% off unlimited talk, text, and data for the life of your plan. Get coverage and value with T-Mobile's hometown discount today. What sets our firm apart from all others is clearly the aggressive nature in which we handle our clients' cases. If you want a firm that takes the nice guy approach, that wants to be friends with the insurance company or the insurance adjuster, we're not the firm for you. But if you want a firm that fights hard on every issue that's important to your case and that protects your rights and your interests, call the Tiger. <laughs> It takes all types to play Family Feud, the wild wife. Name a reason a woman might marry a dumb guy. He's probably good in 
bed. See all the types on Family Feud. The Snowbird Weather Report is brought to you by Graham Simon Plumbing. Welcome back. Here are some top stories from this morning. Jury selection in the trial of a woman charged with the death of a young child was held on Monday in Harrison County Court. 31-year-old Chastity Wazinski is the last of three people to go on trial for the death of five-year-old Keaton Boggs. Boggs died in March 2020 due to injuries suffered from abuse. Wazinski's now ex-husband Peter Wazinski, as well as Keaton Boggs' grandmother Michelle Boggs, both were convicted by a jury of death of a child by a parent, guardian, custodian, or other person by child abuse. They were both sentenced to serve 15 years to life in prison. Now here's the latest on COVID-19 as active cases in West Virginia continue to drop. According to the DHHR, there are currently 623 active cases of COVID-19 in the state. That's a 172 drop in active cases since last Friday. Two counties are now reporting zero active cases, Wirt and Hardy counties. Meanwhile, five more West Virginians have died from the coronavirus, putting the state's death toll at 6,651. WVU is making it easier for people to stay up to date on their COVID-19 vaccinations. The university has developed a vaccination due date calendar to help determine when people should get their next shot. The university says all of the information put into the tool will be anonymous. Head to WVOY.com for a link to the vaccination due date calculator. A former employee of Google alleges the massive tech company engages in pattern of unfair treatment of its minority employees. The discrimination suit claims Google steered minority employees to lower level and lower paying jobs and subjected employees who spoke out to a hostile work environment. It also claims the company views black job candidates through racial stereotypes and said hiring managers deem black candidates not Googly enough. The lawsuit seeks class action status. Google has not commented on the suit. The remains of a person who went through human decomposition after death were scattered across land for the first time in Colorado on Sunday. At a ceremony, dozens of people gathered to spread soil and place the remains of the man who went through decomposition, the decomposition process back into the ground. The remains sat inside a handmade vessel filled with wood chips, alfalfa, and straw for six months. Human com composting became legal in the state of Colorado last year as a green alternative to burial or cremation. The human decomposition soil can be used in gardens and fields to grow things like trees, shrubs, and flowers. However, the law prohibits soil from being used to grow foods that people could consume. This week is Severe Weather Awareness Week in West Virginia, and officials are reminding everyone to be prepared. The Mountain State is no stranger to severe weather, including floods and tornadoes. Today, there will be a statewide tornado drill at 11 a.m. Officials say one of the easiest ways to be prepared is to have a disaster go kit ready at all times. Keeping in it things like radios, batteries, non-perishable food items, and important documents. And ironically, we might see some of that weather, so let's have a check on our forecast. Yeah, today we're going to have high of around 68 degrees with mostly cloudy skies and mild, but the severe weather won't be until possibly tomorrow. But there will, once again, there is going to be a tornado drill at 11 a.m. today, so always a good time to kind of close, to be uh, prepared for any kind of weather. But tomorrow, 50, or tonight, it's 51 degrees and some showers late in the morning, looking at a marginal risk of some severe weather tomorrow, maybe some strong thunderstorms. But in terms of what we're going to be expecting, maybe some, some so, uh, mainly um, gusty winds and heavy rain and um, chance of a tornado is rather low. But as we head towards the rest of uh, today, 73 degrees. And then as we look at our seven day forecast, we're going to be cooling down towards the weekend, as you can see right here. So we're looking at some, some snow showers by the end of the week. But anyways, we're going <laughs> to we'll be seeing um, maybe some severe weather tomorrow, possibly, but calm skies today. Good. All right. We like it. We'll enjoy it today. The Today Show and Good Morning America are next. We'll be back with updates to morning and, of course, at noon. Have a good day, everyone.
Good morning. Outbreak. Reports of nearly two dozen tornadoes leaving a path of destruction across the south. Dramatic videos showing people racing.